Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an ice cube in 3ds Max. Now, if you can see, in the, this is the output that I'm going to create and will guide you uh, how to create this kind of effect in 3ds Max. I'm not going to use any kind of external material or, or any kind of uh, plugins. I just use the old fashioned uh, 3ds Max uh, default materials. So, let's see. I just uh, hide the already that I have created. Okay, fine. Now, first of all, I'll create that particular ice cube object. To create that particular model, I've go to I've go to uh, extended primitives and select chamfer box for this. And we need to have a a very good amount of. Uh, segment now why these segments are important because uh, I'm going to use another modifier onto it that is name is noise now what noise actually do is that will create the unevenness of that particular ice cube otherwise it's looking very very you know smooth kind of its stuff you can see in the shaded view it's a very smooth one but the, generally the ice cube doesn't be that much of smooth there are there are a certain amount of unevenness always there so I just uh, increase the strength of the X, Y, and Z, and also pull down the scale. Oops, sorry. Okay, to make it a bit uh, noisy, or at least uneven. Fine. I just increase a bit more into the strength. Fine. I have this will go. Okay. Now this is the final model that I have already. I have already created before now from the modeling section this is the this is uh, this is done this uh, uh, looks is fine but the next phase is really really important that is the shading part because that is the key factor for this particular uh, effect for material section go to the material editor and I'll just took a, a default uh, material new material and name it as ice fine now, uh, as for the ice is concerned, there are two different parts. One is uh, the ice, uh, the opacity should be definitely be down, and also uh, leave it for right now for 100. First, I'll go to the refraction and I'll put a ray trace onto it and uh, put the trace mode of the ray trace uh, map into the refraction. This is really important because. Uh, that is the uh, calculation that uh, the render engine have to you know follow that I need my ref uh, the object to be refracted so select the object and apply it now into the material you can already been seen that the, the surface has been refracted fine now one more thing I have I have to do I just hit render to give it a, a, a test go and you can see the uh, Shadow is not coming very good, and also, also, it's not looking like an ice. So I have to work few more things onto it. Now, first of all, I need to work on the uh, opacity section. Now, for opacity section, I'll hit a a map into the opacity uh, uh, slot, and that will be a fall off. Now, fall off map is a very, very important one, and I will use a fall off type. From perpendicular parallel to Fresnel. Now Fresnel is something that is actually, if you if you if you go through the uh, uh, this object, and you can see this only the outline will be visible, and the inner portion will be uh, you know uh, uh, inner portion, the middle portion, the mid portion of the object uh, will be invisible. Now this is the this is how the Fresnel is actually uh, works, and if I uh, switch off the uh, fraction. Now you can see the use of the Fresnel. Fresnel actually uh, use only so show you the outer surface, the outline of, of that particular object, as as I have uh, mentioned. And also follow up direction is into the camera's z axis. So this z axis is uh, is uh, depending direction uh, direction dependent, and that's how uh, the the portion of the object that is uh, straightly towards the camera will be you know uh, invisible. 
and the outline of that particular object will be visible so this kind of a, a you know extra effect that we need to provide because uh, i'll just hit uh, render and i can show you what is the difference between these two okay now you can see the uh, as i have actually used the fresnel and the and the um uh, in the opacity as a fall of map you can see the outline has been uh, clearly been visible and also my uh, you know the shadow has been actually affected accordingly so this is really really important for for this uh, for the ice cube i can uh, make it a bit uh, closer look for you fine Fine. So that's how you can use if you look. But this this is a, some sort of a okay. Fine. It's looking like an ice cube. It's it's convincing, but still there is something something is missing. Now the missing is the missing part is this refraction is very very smooth. I don't want that that kind of that much of smooth refraction. So this will be really uh, important. This this the surface the surface is still not you know rough. So I will hit a bump into it, and I hit noise onto my bump, and make it 10 maybe. And you can see immediately the refraction is getting a bit noisier. You can see that uh, the effect of uh, the 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 ice surface is not absolutely smooth. It's it's a kind of a kind of a roughness, the mix of mix of roughness and everything. So I I have to use this uh, this this portion to make it a bit polish polish the out uh, the the final effect of that particular you know, material. So again, hit render. and you can see the the surface of that particular refraction has been you know a bit uh, noisy over here rather than the before one so this is this is why we actually put up the 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 noise material into the bump so if, even if you want you can increase that particular effect uh, to by sorry by reducing that sorry the increasing the size of the noise okay okay that will be fine so that's how you can uh, re-render and you can see a healthy amount of uh, differences uh, into the you know, refraction level you can see this is this uh, the the roughness has been been cleared fine okay now the most important part ice is not crystal clear you cannot see absolutely clear uh, ice uh, like this this is like a it's it's like picture perfect this actually doesn't happen so the exactly the core of the ice is not that that much of clear in vision it's it's actually uh, contains a different kind of a, a shape so for creating those kind of effect uh, I have to go to the uh, refraction section because this is very important one this is the one that which actually give you a very good uh, amount of exp uh, you know uh, a very good amount of uh, final touch uh, onto your eyes now there's an option in the refractive material uh, extension uh, menu and you can switch on the fog option over here now what actually these fogs do fog actually been created in any side of that particular uh, object refractive object so if you hit render you can see immediately the amount of fog is definitely been higher side but yes you can see the the effect of the ice is actually coming up because the the central portion of the ice is always get densed rather than the outer side so this is the this is kind of an effect that we are actually always look for so i'll just hit uh, the color of the ice uh, the, the fog to a kind of a gray and also i've reduced the amount to maybe 0.6 let's see what it actually does fine 
fine so that is really really coming out this is really fantastic fine but yes definitely if you really want to decrease the amount of the area that has been covered by by this particular fog then you have to you know uh, reduce the end uh, sorry uh, the, reduce the start value a bit up from too long Gosh, that is something. It's too much. It's, it's eight. I just, uh, oops, maybe two. And you can also increase the end amount. Let's render. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That is actually really nice one. Okay, so that's how we can put the the exact look of the eyes you know that is really really uh, uh, looking very nice so just to make it a bit more darker over here ah, yeah I think this will go yeah absolutely fine now it's absolutely def depending on your choice it's, uh, how you want how much dense you want to be your I uh, know the ice cube so it's absolutely up to you but I really strongly recommend that you use uh, some kind of a reference uh, image for that and uh, uh, every time you you uh, create this kind of an effect if you put this one into uh, into a glass it will look something different so always better to look on the on to the those references that is really uh, you know you are going to trying to make it so this is very important and I have on the later part I have added something a really uh, uh, interesting thing that to create uh, that particular final look I have created now in general you won't find the eyes like that if you put on a, uh, some eyes uh, onto the on a table it started melting and uh, some sort of a water level uh, actually spreading out started to spread out so, you know it started to melt as it started to melt so those water portion should be there and that actually uh, uh, makes you believe that yes the 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 uh, ice is there and uh, it's also melting so it, so it's a kind of a convincing thing that will always go uh, on the back of the mind of the audience that that is actually looking on on your on your shot so this is really that is also really important and that's how I uh, actually created the the scene over here also and if you can see I have created this object over here through a line extrude and also make it smooth uh, by the poly that's it this is the water water surface and that is my the, the final scene that I've uh, came up uh, with the uh, with the ice and also also the the water uh, you know spreading uh, around it so that's how it the, the shot the entire shot looks really convincing and that's how uh, you can you can really you know make this shot a, a believable one so uh, uh, yeah one point that I really recommend I really like to uh, say that I have used a, a, a environmental HDR map now it's uh, it's also up to you how have to have you want to you know uh, use your environment map absolutely and there is another point that I will definitely want to tell it's absolutely uh, uh, not in very very necessary but if you are going to get a very closer look on your object then I definitely recommend a noise map onto the fog also because I have created that if you, if you see my already created uh, uh, material that I have put a noise map onto the fog also so that you can see this uh, this is this is kind of a, um, um, the unevenness inside the uh, ice is sometimes is actually required but yeah definitely it's absolutely uh, depend on the requirement how much detail you want how much the object is closer to your camera so these are really really important options over here so hope you uh, understand the steps uh, and uh, enjoy this and 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel also like us on Facebook and as you already some people definitely already know that I have, we have already uh, introduced a new section for downloading free 3d models uh, in our in our website so please visit them and uh, download free 3d models from there okay thank you very much